Before getting into the setup and mechanics of the baseball swing, coaches need to give ball players the incentive to practice. The best thing coaches can do is make practice exciting and challenging. I set out to give them a way to do just that and came up with a masterpiece for fun and incentive. It's beautiful and does the trick. Ta-da! A target like this makes practicing fun and yes, more likely. Yep. The excitement is obvious with these young ball players in this video. Most important, the target helps provide the feedback needed to know if the swing was correct. This simple bed sheet target took about 5 minutes to make with spray paint and grommets found at the hardware store. Bingo! There's a line drive to center for 10 points. Thank you very much. I have never seen a hitter have sustained success in games when they cannot produce solid results with a batting tee. Therefore, my batting class begins with a batting tee, but the hitting tips in all future videos apply to flip balls and pitcher thrown batting practice too. Booyah! There's another 10 stop. Batting tee practice allows many repetitions in a short amount of time, and tee ball practice is a good way to groove the swing without worrying about timing and getting hit by pitched balls. For those with less room to work, a smaller target also works. It gets no simpler than telling players where to hit the ball. Even hanging a target as small as a player's baseball glove works to analyze swings and makes practicing more fun. Boom! Put it on the board. The target should hang so that players are rewarded for line drives, the usual hitting goal. With the numbered target, players can try for high scores and can compete against others or themselves. Yes, another 10. Take that, Mike Trout. It is so much fun to see kids excited about practicing and trying to improve. Sweet, there it goes again. Coaches can use their imagination to come up with different scoring games. Sometimes I add a money ball to one of the swings or have double points on other attempts. I have accomplished hitters call out a number before trying to hit it to work on back control. Tic-tac-toe is even a possibility. Players should write down their totals to compare with future attempts. Touch them all, Mr. Jack. For your information, the best 10 ball sequence I had was 100 points. Proof that I still have what it takes, or maybe it's that I finally figured things out years after my major league playing days. The walk off. How sweet it feels. Stay tuned for my next vid video as it addresses the correct ways to use the batting tee. Thanks for watching and don't forget to head over to my baseball coaching website at www.baseballcoachingtips.net for more great coaching information. High five on that.